Instant Replay is your local sports bar. With 18 big screen TVs, we have all the sports packages from college games to pro games. We offer daily drink specials and come check out the bullpen, our newly renovated beer garden. Instant Replay, 2739 Chestnut in Quincy. Hey, everybody. Welcome to The Daily Muddy. I'm Ashley Conrad. Joining me today, Emily Dexheimer with the Douglas Community Services. How are you, Emily? Very well. Thank you so much for having me. Absolutely. I'm really excited to uh, sit down and talk with you today. I... I know you have a really cool event coming up, but before we get to that, let's talk about what Douglas Community Services does. Uh, I know you're based out of Hannibal, and I knew a little bit about you, but in digging, knowing that I was going to sit down with you today, I learned a lot more. So I'm excited to hear uh, and, and tell everyone else everything that Douglas Community Services does. Sure. So Douglas does do a lot more than most people realize. Um, our core values still go back to food insecurity, housing, and utilities, and clothing, just to meet those basic needs of people so that they have a step up in life. But we also administer the Head Start program in eight or nine different counties in Northeast Missouri now. Okay. Um, we are the administrators of the CASA program, so people who are able to walk alongside kids who are going through different um, services and court system issues sure. so that they have that support system. Um, we also have programs for senior adults that a lot of people don't know about. So there really is a lot of outreach that Douglas is doing in our community. Yeah, something for every stage in life sounds like. Yes. And not only um, providing those resources, but also connecting connecting the dots between the needs and, and what's available in the community. Yes. And right now, uh, one of the reasons we're doing fundraising is because we are building a new center okay. at 7-Eleven Grand. And that's going to be really a hub for us to be able to do just that. Gotcha. And to get people to come in and not have to go to multiple places, but if they come in and they need housing assistance, well, maybe they need clothing assistance too. So the Nifty Thrifty store will be right there. Okay. Um, our food commodities will be out of there. All of those sorts of things will be readily available. In one location. Right. Excellent. Mm -hmm. So speaking of fundraising, uh, you have something really cool coming up, which is what we were, you know, we, we alluded to it a little right. bit earlier, but Burgers and Brews Fest. Yes. Right? Yes. We're very Two of excited. my favorite things. <laughs> so Burgers and Brews Fest 2024 uh, is going to be in Hannibal, right? It is. It's going to be downtown at the Y Men's Pavilion there at Main and Hill Street. So there's a nice pavilion there. We're going to have a band. Stonehill is coming out to play for us. Okay. They're pretty awesome. A great band. They are. And then we also have Great River Brewing Company. So they've been partnering with us all year. So they are coming, and a portion of their profits are coming back to Douglas. So okay. that is great as well. Yeah. And then we have volunteers from Blessing Health System who are going to actually cook up burgers for us that we'll have for sale as well. Okay. So uh, burgers and brews. Who doesn't love that? Especially uh, on a beautiful day, which is what we're hoping for on right. September 28th, right? Yes. Okay. So hopefully that date will be just perfect. It's going to be from noon to four. Noon to four. And we'll have some music to begin with. The live music is from one to four with Stonehill. Okay. So we'll just really are hoping to have a really great time down there. Yeah. And just, uh, you know, go and uh, support the community go and support uh douglas you know community services right. uh the people in and around hannibal uh and enjoy a burger and a brew right who doesn't love that and some live music exactly so how do people get tickets there's multiple ways i mean you can just walk up to the gate and get a ticket there okay you can also um talk to any of our board members or stop by the administrative building there at 909 broadway in hannibal and we have some tickets available for pre-sale there as well okay perfect and is it rain or shine rain or shine all right yeah it's a lovely pavilion we'll there have you go coverage. yeah you got you got some uh you got some shelter you got some burgers you got some brews you got some live music and it's all going towards a great cause go out and show your support september 28th at the y men's pavilion in hannibal uh yeah thank you so much emily for coming on and talking oh, to me i appreciate it me absolutely absolutely all right coming up next coffee talk stay tuned the tower a great place to meet andy but did you know the Tower has one of the finest drink selections in our area? Along with its incredible Mexican menu, the Tower specializes in tequilas for every taste. Names like Patron, Cabo Wabo, and Hornitos. And don't forget the margaritas. On Mondays and Tuesdays, stop by and pick up a single topping pizza and get Tower margaritas to go. Enjoy the Tower at home or in our dining room, bar area, or the Tower's signature climate-controlled porch. The Tower Pizza and Mexican in Quincy. Welcome to the Abbey, a Quincy tradition. 
With six big screens, a new larger kitchen, and now more seating capacity, the Abbey is the place to be before, during, and after the big game. Come enjoy fan favorite appetizers, steaks, burgers, and a variety of daily food and drink specials. Can't join us? Carryout is available too. Now with a convenient drive up window to better serve you. 1736 Spring in Quincy. Opens at 3 p.m. Tuesday through Sunday. Come join all your friends at the Abbey, a Quincy tradition. Instant Replay is your local sports bar. With 18 big screen TVs, we have all the sports packages from college games to pro games. We offer daily drink specials and come check out the bullpen, our newly renovated beer garden. Instant Replay, 2739 Chestnut in Quincy. Kelly's has been a fun place to eat and drink in Quincy since 1982. A fun and friendly atmosphere, food with flavor, homemade cinnamon rolls, and famous cheese soup. The best menu in town. Kelly's 2902 Broadway, Quincy. Are you looking for the perfect venue for your next special event? Check out Utopia Event Center. Utopia has a large banquet room and an awesome bar area, perfect for anything from birthday parties to formal corporate meetings. It also offers a photo booth, stage for a DJ or a live band, and a fully stocked bar all for only $300. Check us out at utopiaeventcenter.com or call Barn at 217-430-6559 for more information. Utopia Event Center, 900 North 12th Street in Quincy. The Liquor Booth is your home for a huge selection of beer, wine, and spirits. The Liquor Booth has two locations in Quincy, 3520 Broadway and 1500 North 12th Street. The Liquor Booth, where it's always happy hour. And welcome back. Now it's time for Coffee, Coffee Talk. Talk. See, I went down. Okay, anyway. Uh, hey, I feel like I haven't seen you in forever. It has been forever. In yeah. a day. It has. Yeah. How was last week? It was good. It, yeah. went, it went by kind of slow. Did it? <laughs> like, Even been, though you had more to do? Yeah. Well, I mean, that's why. Yeah. So it was just, yeah. Kind of dragging on. Yeah. Yeah. But... Um, today it's like back to coffee talk, like, yeah. you know, coffee talk style. And I wanted to start it or maybe do it by shouting out to David for his three stories that he has up. Um, you'll see those today yeah. or tomorrow. This airs, you know, TV magic. Um, he's a machine when he, it comes to cranking them out. Well, that, and like, I like how he breaks down city council into always like three separate stories. Mm -hmm. I don't know what that three things called and i was just asking him he's like i have no idea what power you're of three we'll just the call rule that. of three i go. don't know steve Einger does that with his three thoughts of the day yeah. it's just like i like th three is just a good rounded number yeah. so we have three thoughts for coffee talk three topics three topics um the first one being football yeah. Football has kicked off. Um, Bob's like, what the hell? This is what I wanted to talk about last week. And I'm like, I don't know anything about football. Really? So uh, we ranted it out about um, some local happenings. But football kicked off. Um, I know everyone showed out at uh, Instant Replay. Jim got his wings sold out, which yeah, was awesome. That. Good for him. Um, we went to QU game Saturday. We went to the, the first. So football all yeah. around, too. Awesome. Like, it's not just NFL. No. But I really don't know what I'm talking about. No, I cheer like I do. But I like the fact that people are trying to get everyone involved. Like, everyone is involved, you know? Like, people that have no idea. And maybe you're just taking my money for your fantasy team. I don't know. But yeah. um, it's nice to get people that don't know what they're talking about involved. I think yeah. football, um, it's not so much the sport. I think about it as being, like, family, friends. Yeah, um, so I do try to get involved, mm. and I am in a fantasy league. And, and what's I, your name? Oh, it's Remember the You're Titties. <laughs> yeah, woohoo! I love it. It's perfect. Y you know, a play uh, on Remember the Titans. Yes, of course. Which we'll get to entertainment here shortly. But yeah. football, it's just something I, I used to like. I still make fun of sports and when you hear you know everyone doing all the lingo and stuff like i need a boost or i need this and i'm like what's that do i need one too oh you're like i don't know can i get a punt kick pass <laughs> that's what, i have no idea yeah but so yeah it's just all around fun and i like it yeah and you don't have to necessarily be uh a football uh you know you don't have to be guru yeah, I was going to say kind of no. but I knew that wasn't right. You don't have to know everything about it. But I do love when, when you are um, in like these fantasy leagues, which I never have been, but I've been, I've gone I thought to. I you went to, you did something with. I did the bracket, the March Madness okay, thing. Okay, that's um, a totally different sport. Yeah, but I love the, 
getting together with people, and I l- really love when people do know things about it that they're willing to help yeah, you that's what through I'm saying. it. Yeah, because you know some people tend to feel sorry for those of us who don't know <laughs> our lingo or the players, or they're giving you ill advice and just taking your money. Like I said, either way, I don't know. It's still fun as long as they give me beers and make me feel like I'm a part of the the, the team. Yeah, then I'm good. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So. I'm looking forward to the rest of this football season. I hear my my fantasy team is pretty badass. So is it? Yeah. I mean, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. guess we'll see. Yeah, that's exciting. So how, when you go to this, everybody probably knows how it works. But when you go, it's like every week. If do you get knocked out if your team loses? No. First, okay. no. All it's right. Just, but I okay. One thing that I did learn when talking about this before. I had no idea that fantasy football existed before technology. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like so it was like paper doing, brackets. Yes. And, yeah. But then you also had to meet like once a week to do those yeah. trades and In stuff person. like that. In person. Yeah. Ew. Yeah. But no, I don't know. <laughs> Listen, I thought you said you liked the party of it all. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're like, ew, I don't want to be there in person. No. no. Cheers to my beers in my yeah. living room. But cheers to football. Yeah, right? All cheers. Right. So, uh, and then... Next thought... Yeah. ...is um, a little bit on more of something that you had to experience oh, just recently. Yeah. Not quite as fun it. as fantasy football. It should be fun, though. But it it's should, not. It should, but it's not. And anybody who enjoys this, I feel like, has a little bit of psychopathy. Uh, <laughs> you know, yeah. car buying. Yes. Okay, it is fun to have a new ride, but going through the process is a nightmare, especially now when things are so expensive Mm -hmm. and interest rates are crazy. And, um, you know, I had my own reasons for selling my Jeep and I'm still kind of sad about it, but finding a car that is more sensible for gas mileage and away games and uh, traveling to and from my day job in St. Louis and you know, it was just kind of time that I made a more mature decision. So then when I started looking for the car and trying to get like the best bang for my buck, but also something that had everything I wanted, it was damn near impossible. Yeah. Right. Then you find something and you go to test drive it. And if you're like me, you have it checked out by my mechanic, who's amazing. Um, And unfortunately, the cars that you love may not be the car for you. Right. Mm -hmm. So I found that to be true. Uh, then when I finally found something and I, I wanted to shop local, but the car prices here tend to be uh, quite a bit higher, uh, which I'm not dogging on it. It is what it is. But uh, I ended up going out of town and it was like three hours away. Found what I wanted. But you tried local first, which that's awesome. I did. Yeah. Uh, but in my price range and trying to find what I wanted, I didn't have the luxury of time to wait. Mm-hmm. So it was kind of like, okay, you have to find something, whether it's here or out of town. Unfortunately, it was out of town, uh, but fortunately, the car does have everything I want, and let's pray that nothing happens to it. Yes. Okay? Fingers are crossed. Yeah, so talk about your experience a well, bit. Well, I gambled way more. I didn't yeah? take it to my mechanic. I okay. probably should have. Um, so I'm still just on edge about it. It's a newer car, and I don't really want to talk about like where I got it locally because it wasn't my greatest experience. Yeah. Um, it was one of those things where, hey, we'll call you in a week to see how you're doing. Never got that phone call. Yeah. And then the big thing that always gets me is like when they're like, we're just going to detail it up one last time right after you test drove it. Yeah. It's like, no, it's it's cool. It's my dirt. You know, yeah. like I don't need it. And I know what they're doing. They're putting their sticker on the car. On the thing. They're putting their license plate things on the oh, car. Oh, you don't want that. No, oh, I'm not a walking billboard for you unless you're paying me. Like, yeah. And you aren't Mine has me. that on there because I didn't think about oh, it. Well, so I need to dig that off. Blow dryer and just blow that sucker right off. Really? Like, you heat up the sticker and you can peel off the sticker. Okay. I'd rather get tattoos on my body than put yeah. stickers on my car. Yeah. Mila also, calls them car tattoos. They are car tats. Uh, and also, you know, God forbid, and I understand what you're saying when you're talking because now it's like a used, any used car, you're paranoid about yes. every click, every. Uh, lag in any like acceleration at least I am I'm like oh great I got yes. a lemon and I'm I don't think it is but I'm always paranoid about no, it no I'm, I'm paranoid like, I think potentially because of you <laughs> yeah. but like I, 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 I don't it's not something that I know much about you know auto mechanics or anything like that no. and it's also not something that very many people Mm-mm. so that if you're looking for a trade or a job to make your it's young also one hard to find into, one that's trustworthy and I think part of the experience of you know my jeep and I went to some real shysters you know yeah and and it's a shame to say that but I do think whether intentionally or not there were things fixed that didn't need to be fixed Mm -hmm. there were things that weren't fixed that needed to be fixed you know so it's like well 
Yeah, unfortunately, I don't know. But trust me, after all of this experience, after everything that, that's gone on. One thing I've learned. I think that I could probably do some tune-ups. Yeah. You know? <laughs> I mean, YouTube videos out there, and I'm not, like, advocating for you to go do your own um, car work because I do know that it is a trade that a lot of people specialize mm -hmm. in and takes some education and takes some, a lot of experience and know-how. Uh, but there are some things that I can do now through YouTube videos. Awesome. Yeah, so there's the silver lining. Yes. And hopefully uh, also the silver lining is that I have a great car that lasts me years and years and years. I'm hoping, yeah, mine lasts me through the winter. Yeah. <laughs> no, <I'm just laughs> okay. the you know what? What's what also, uh, Another thing I learned, though, is that uh, – here at Muddy River News, we show up for one another. Yes. Like, you picked me up. Bob took me home. Oh. People were always willing to... We're a team. Yeah, right? So thank you for that. I don't know that I ever uh, publicly said that. Yeah. Not that it was necessary, but I wanted to do that. So thank Absolutely. you. Uh, and cheers to new cars and having them last. Yes. Uh, yeah, definitely at least through the winter All and right. hopefully beyond. Okay, and then the next topic is... Third thought. Yeah. This is my favorite one. Entertainment. Mm-hmm. Um, to a degree, it... Like, popped up in my head, though, on a sad note. James Earl Jones. Not James Earl Grey. She, Brittany texted me today, and you could tell that she was preoccupied. Her <laughs> mind was elsewhere. And she goes, oh, and I really want to talk about James Earl Grey. And I was like, as in the tea? Because, <laughs> you know, here at Coffee Talk, we do have the yes. tea, but it's not James Earl Jones. No. Right? No. <laughs> but he lived a long, happy life. He did, yeah. And he was one of my favorite actors. I that thought, voice. Yes. That's why I said he had that voice. Yeah. Uh, the voice of Mufasa, the voice of Darth Vader, the voice of, I don't Narr know. He narrated a bunch, you know, like Sandlot. Yes. And well, in Sandlot, he was the dog owner. Yeah? Yeah. I'm okay. pretty sure. I or maybe know. not. Maybe it was I just remember the voice. And then uh, Field of Dreams. Yep. Yeah, lots of great movies, and we'll miss him. The Coming to America. That's the one yes, I was thinking that of. It's, that's one of my favorite, favorite movies. Yes. Yeah. He's if, if you listen to that movie now, you're like, whoa. Was he in this? Was there a second one? Was yeah, he, he was in the second okay. one. Yeah. I kind of, that one was a little bit forgetful. Speaking yeah. of second ones and being forgetful, I haven't seen it yet, but the reviews on Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice yeah. Don't say it the second I, or, I or won't third, say time. It third time. But the reviews on it uh, kind of suck. Do they? I guess. I don't know. It's not enticing me to go. I mean, I'm going to give it a chance. I'll still go. But it's it's not, it's disappointing. I don't want to hear that. Like, where people are like, it's walkout worthy. Well, I'm like, no. Is it walkout worthy? That's what. That's well, I mean, when you do such a bang-up job on the first one, yes. and it's such a cult classic, it's going to be hard to to yeah. meet that standard, I think. Kind of like um, Hocus Pocus. What do you think of the second one of that? Awful. I didn't think it was great. They're making a third, too, I heard. I'm well, like, oh, we should cut it out while we can. Well, I think it's, you know, when you have something like Beetlejuice or Hocus Pocus or uh, what's the other one that mm, is coming out? Uh, shoot, I forget. Anyway, um, yeah, it's going to be hard to 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 meet that high standard, but I do think that everyone will still go see it, even if the reviews are bad, because they're yeah. going to be like, oh, maybe they're wrong. Hopefully they're wrong. I want to know the reviews on a show that I've been watching, because I'm really hoping it mm. comes back. It's Chaos yeah. on Netflix. Yeah, I've been watching that if too. If you like anything to do with uh, Greek mythology, mm -hmm. and this is like super entertaining uh comedy-ish, very... It's like a dark comedy. Yes. Yeah, it's dark um, comedy. There's a... It's... It's got okay. So Jeff Goldblum uh -huh. plays Zeus, Zeus. Mm -hmm. and our friend Jay, um, who is my hairdresser, yeah, referred to him as the o the OG daddy. Yeah, like he's the original daddies. He is from Jurassic Park. I didn't even I didn't like put that, that together, but well, yeah, he is. He's a great actor, and I love that show. My mom did not give it rave reviews. She really, was like, I just don't see the point. And I was like, well, maybe. Did she get like how far through it? Uh, I think like episode four. Okay. But I'm really hoping, yeah, it has to get good reviews, though, to come back. So yeah. I'm, like, trying to pimp this out. And be Either like, way, I mean, I the acting is really, it, it's just interesting. Yes. Like, it's a very interesting idea to put out there and mm -hmm. to moderni modernize. Yes. So I think it's really cool. Uh, so, yeah, I, th I think go watch it. Yeah. Give it, give it some thumbs up. I, right? Yeah, please do, because I want it to come back. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and speaking of entertainment, just to... Just a little uh, oh, sneak, yeah. sneak preview. We have a little bit of an entertaining -ish. Oh, dude, if you follow this fella on social media, you have been entertained by his live uh, feeds. Yes, he has a live show he, regularly. Yeah, he's a live show, but also his, it seems like he's al he always has something going on, mm -hmm. uh, which I'll, I'm really excited to talk to him about. Uh, Steve Homan is going to be our club guest yeah. Thursday, so make sure you tune in. Uh, if you know him, 
you know that it's sure to be entertaining. And if you don't know him, trust me when I say it will be entertaining. <laughs> Right? Yes. Yeah. So uh, on that note, thank you, EFB, for the coffee. Thank you very uh, much. Yeah, we love um, everything about uh, EFB, including the people who, who so graciously sponsor yes. uh, our coffee talk, but also their their coffee and their tea, right? Yeah. Why we spill the tea. So uh, on that note, thank you for watching Coffee, coffee Talk. talk.